we're going to go to the second portion of our program, which is where we are going to talk about different activities of the foundation. And I'm going to be joined for this first part by Rear Admiral Denise Hinton, the chief science, scientist at FDA. And in one of her many responsibilities, she uh, is our main liaison in working with the foundation on a daily basis and helping to shepherd our work. So Rear, Rear Admiral Hinton, thank you for joining us today. Um, I'll re recap just a bit because it is our annual public meeting reflecting on 2020. And in 2020, we honed in on three areas of work which align with our strategic goals to advance regulatory science, to convene stakeholders, and to improve pub public understanding of FDA regulated products. We had six major projects in those areas, and we'll talk about a number of those, those today. And we're going to do that in conversations between our board members and our FDA partners in this work. I'll note that we're taking this structure from work that we've been doing in the COVID-19 Evidence Accelerator. And in the midst of the pandemic and the depths of the winter, we called these fireside chats. Now that we're moving into spring, we call them porch chats, but we'll be having chats between the board members and our FDA partners to both describe the projects and then say, what is it that we could be um, doing better within these, these projects? And to set the stage for these conversations, I'm going to start with you. Denise, thank you so much for joining us today and for all of the work that you do for the agency. I, I think you might be the signing authority on most of those emergency use authorizations, which may not give you time for anything else, and yet you find time for many other activities, including working with the foundation. So I want to give you a few minutes to to talk about um, the, the role of the, agent, the foundation with the agency, what we can improve, and, and thinking about uh, both what we've done in the last year and what we're looking forward to doing. No, thank you, Susan. And I mean, thank you to the regular um, foundation and all the board members and everyone that has gotten an opportunity to work with over the course of the years. I would just say, um, I think that the, the work in which the uh, Reagan Udall Foundation has with the FDA and for the FDA is profound and it's been most helpful as Dr. Woodcock has also just stated. Um, I would just say right off, I would say the, the value of the, the Reagan Udall Foundation is just as the remit states and in, in, in that it advances um, the mission of the FDA to modernize our scientific portfolio which um, RUF is proficiently doing through engagement with the technical experts and leadership at the FDA with industry, academia, and consumers, just to name you know, a few. Um, the information given and received from the convener meetings helps to push communication about the important evidence-based work that we do um, at the agency, and the information received from the various stakeholders may help to inform our decisions and our guidance. Um, so I am greatly appreciative and I'm looking forward to the discussions today with regards to the, you know, the leveraging of Sentinel, um, you know, just through the innovation and in medical evidence development and surveillance programs, through the work, through the evidence accelerator, through the work, through the vaccine confidence and the food and nutrition, and of course, expanded access. It's all been of great value. Um, to the agency and actually um, to our, our community. So I look forward to the continued work with Reagan Udall. Thanks so much, Denise. It's been um, really encouraging as, as you've been able to help us identify opportunities to support the agency. I mean, as as we we know, but it is helpful to, to ground ourselves in every day. We're created by Congress with one purpose. <laughs> solely to advance the mission of the FDA. And so that's our litmus test for everything that we think about doing. And then it's great to have the feedback and the direction from you and the opportunity to, to talk about what it is that we might do that helps the ag agency better promote and protect the public health. Um, so that's, it's been great. Um, Denise, then are you okay if we go ahead and turn and start talking about the programs? Will you, you've seen a lot of this, but I think our audience would like to hear more. Oh, absolutely. I absolutely am. And I'm looking forward to um, just in, um, the, the, the folks hearing more about the programs and more about the work that, you know, RF 
can and will continue to do to maximize our progress on emerging issues and such as those that will be discussed today. So thanks for the time and I look forward to continuing to engage with you.